Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Hope you're all well. Uh, today we've been working on this Volvo XC60 2017 and it features the Volvo Census Connect head unit inside with navigation. This customer's come to us today for the reversing camera at the back and a front parking camera. So as per usual with these aftermarket setup, you put the car into reverse, you've got the reversing image with moving guidelines if the car supports it. And then when you take it out of reverse, uh, the manual automatic gearbox it then shows the front camera for 11 seconds. But there's a feature in the car that allows you to put the front camera on for um, extended front parking. So we will jump in the car and show you what we've done. We just beforehand just show you um, the cameras. So Rich has done a quality job here because the actual factory camera position would be quite far off centre here. Um, and of course that means that, yeah, you're still going to see what's behind you, but we try and keep it as dead centre to the car as possible, uh, which has been a little bit difficult because there's fixing posts in there. So had to use a little bit of thinking outside the box. Um, now the front of the vehicle, all of these front cameras that we do uh, are quite involved purely because of the fact that these cameras are really, really low down to the floor. They're open to the elements, including the rain, stone chips and other bits and pieces. Uh, Richard has just taken one of the little um, honeymoon, uh, honeycomb, um, gresh, uh, can't even talk, mesh panels out the bars just to allow the camera to sit back. Otherwise, it'll then sit out too much um, and it would sit proud and not look very nice. So that sits back really nicely. And what we've done is we've adjusted the front camera so it will see almost vertical from the bottom of the bumper. Uh, again, so if you're going to see any sort of low curbs or, or, or anything just to get in the way there. Right, so we jump on in and show you what it looks like. Right, so we're now in the car. Um, because the XC60, this is a 2017, so as I said earlier, it's the early census system. Um, this one's called the Census Connect because it's uh, identified with the little globe button here. Now, this is what they used to call the floating dash because you can put your hand all the way in behind, stick your bag or whatever you want to do behind there. Uh, and the main bulk of the radio is in behind this panel. This is only a small um, six and a half inch display, but uh, it still works really, really well. So I'm just gonna put the key in. Uh, I'll do that now. I will shut the windows because I think we need to start the engine on this to get a proper reverse gear. Let's turn that down. There's the Volvo logo. Okay, right, so ignition is on, engine is running. Uh, wait for the Census Connect to boot up. Uh, I'm sure it would automatically go into reverse and switch over, but we always like to show the main radio navigation screen. Uh, and from startup, it takes a little while because it's a little mini computer. Okay, so we're gonna pop it into reverse, manual gearbox, which is unusual. And um, once we put it into reverse, the image will then switch over to uh, the parking camera. Now we've spoken to the customer, they wanted to keep the moving guidelines, but we do have the ability with this kit to switch the guidelines off. So as you're reversing, you move the uh, steering wheel and it shows the trajectory of where you're going to end up. So you could be sat in a car park with the steering wheel dead straight, but the wheels off to one side and that would show you that when you're about to reverse so that you don't do damage. As Soon as we leave reverse gear, the front camera will come on and it will come on for a timed period of 11 seconds. You can have less, um, but why would you when 11 seconds goes pretty quickly and we have set it up so you can just see now, as I said earlier, what you can do is if I press and hold this button here, um, that then activates the front camera AV. Now you can just see in the bottom left and right hand corner of the screen, the ever so um, corner or the corner edge of the front splitter, the front bumper. Now, of course, the front camera is going to also be a bit of a, a bird's eye um, lens or fish eye lens, sorry. Um, and then because of that, you've got that curvature. And that's the reason why you can see that we could just bring the front camera adjusted up a little bit so that you don't see it, but you wouldn't then have that vertical line uh, as said. So I can now press this button here, goes back to the normal screen. We pop it into reverse. Moving guidelines, as I said before, so it goes all the way around. Uh, we're in the workshop, so it's a bit noisy. Um, and then as soon as you come out of there, as you can see, really nice clean image on here. So pop it out of gear, 
11 seconds the front camera comes on, uh, give you enough time for parking. Um, it doesn't integrate in any way with the parking sensors, but with the Volvo, if you've got factory parking sensors, um, then those sensors will be audible. Um, and then if you wanted to, for extended front parking, you can just hit the um, navigation button, which is a shortcut menu. So this is a 2017 Volvo XC60. It features the Census Connect system, um, the early Census models with the big touchscreen as you see in the, uh, in, in the newer models. And then from next year, 2022, we will be looking at becoming, uh, already already are, but we're gonna be doing more work on Volvos because we're gonna be uh, an independent diagnostic user so that we can do a bit more interaction with Volvo cars and maybe even go down the road of fitting sort of genuine equipment as well as aftermarket. So don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching our videos as usual. We do really appreciate it. The website is wwwadvanced hyphen incar.co.uk if you've got a car like this uh, um, and it's a big car to be honest um, the blind spots uh, the the area for viewing is not great so if you want a camera just to protect your investment get in touch with us you don't have to have front and rear you can just have rear um, but it's a great addition to the vehicle and uh, have a good day thanks for watching